Today we are privileged to have the premi super Raman DJM and TV Bhopal circuit with us. So, respected sir, we welcome you. So, respected Raman sir, director Chetna, faculty members and my dear friends. I welcome you to this 37th edition of panel discussion that we hold at Chetna with everyone. The topic for today's discussion is way ahead for banks. How to deploy excess liquidity and protect profitability. Now, in the first round, every panelist will get five minutes to put for their opening remarks. After four minutes, there will be a warning bell. And after five minutes, there will be a final bell. After which the panelists have to stop. After the first round, we have some questions which will be open to all the panelists. They are free to put their views. So let us start with the panel discussion. We can start with the panel. In the aftermath of demonetization, there is a need arises for the banks to think about excess liquidity, prudent utility, and secured profitability. On the outside, liquidity means the cash in hand, treasury bills, and other government securities held by the banks. Likewise, excess liquidity refers to the volume of liquidity held by the banks which is over and above the prescribed ratio. As a result of demonetization, most households were in a panic mode and were keen on getting rid of their old notes safely. Banks become ecstatic as the deposits rolling in. Ironically, our banking system doesn't have the bandwidth to absorb this much of huge volume to a tune of rupees 15 lakh crores, as there is limited avenues for deployment. Banks find themselves in a tight spot. As a matter of fact, the capital gain due to the excess liquidity enables the banks to manage better provisioning for NPA, replenishment of ATM, reserving 100% CRR for the deposit collected from 16th September to 11th November, and enhance the operational capability of the regular banking activities. Still, more than 10 lakh crores available at the disposal of the banking system for which investment avenues has to be probed. At the same time, the investment cannot be go beyond the realms of regulatory obligations. Within some preamps of bank machinery, investment has to be done. Let us see the investment avenues. One of the options is to invest in the GZ market. Government is sticking to fiscal target nowadays. So, there is no additional purpose available in the primary market. So, secondary market is the target. Even in the secondary market, we cannot deploy entire excess liquidity. So, investing. Investment in this area would cover an operational cost to asset ratio of 2 to 2.5 percent only. Another option is seeking MSS bonds, market stabilizing scheme bonds. If, if banks deploy entire excess liquidity in this arena, it will directly lead to additional fiscal deficit. So, in this area also, limited funding can be done. To some extent, OR arrangement can be put in place by the banks to buy foreign currencies to beef up 
for its position. Or are means obligatory risk rating arrangement. It is the arrangement between two different countries, banks of two different currencies. Right. Another option is to selling proprietary. Another option is to selling proprietary financial instruments to retail customers. These financial instruments are shares, common equity share, preference share, hybrid securities, and debt. These instruments are attractive to banks as they are eligible regulatory capital. In this excess liquidity arena, there is a need arises for revisiting the funding pattern. That is, long term stable liquidities are to be deployed against short term liquid assets. This will ease the emotion of liquidity, excess liquidity. Using excess liquidity, banks should develop technology and roadmap that integrate banking platform. First, mobile tele-channels ought to be strengthened. This is the growth strategy. Another technology that is the need of the hour, a deemed to be a need of the hour, is blockchain data transmission technology. The mobile-oriented banking and blockchain technology are the two elements which will become the deciding factor of the future robustness of the banking industry. Right. As a measure of profit productivity, irrespective of the size of the loans, customers should be advised to subscribe payment protection insurance. This BPI enables the customer to Insure against the loans. Insure against the default of loans in case of unexpected events. Moreover, this is not a time for the incremental changes. Banks should make bold moves to position themselves for success. That is, some business have to be abandoned to competitors. Other achievable business with necessary scale to be pursued aggressively. With this, the result will be the banks will excel where they have natural advantages. Nevertheless, banks should hold significant liquidity into foreseeable future for the unforeseeable expenses. All in all, banks that make use of make best use of the excess liquidity and eliminate the most costly contingent liabilities will react the benefit a lot. It will be the significant win-win situation for the banks.